Enoch Pippen and Jeff Hughes are here from the L LC Salmon Youth Center. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. Yep. You got you got several things going on. Yeah, we wanna, colorful. Yeah, that we want to dive in. You got uh, what's called Parents Night Out. Parents Night Out, which is awesome. That's uh, coming up January twenty seventh, Friday, from six to ten. And what what's this all about? What's the format? It is. Uh, an opportunity for parents to uh, ditch their kids with us for four <laughs> hours. <laughs> ditch That's their kids. Ditch their I mean, leave their <laughs> lovely I angels. I mean, yes. Yeah. yeah, drop their kids Every off. parent's going, no, ditch them. That's what we're doing. That's now. the word. Mm -hmm. and, and people do different things with it. Um, they say, hey, we went to a movie and a dinner. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not yeah. a big amount of people who do that. Yeah. Some people had fun just going and doing groceries and then going home and taking yeah. a nap. Well, that's yeah. a four-hour stretch. Four so that's hour a stretch. good time. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and it's, uh, you know, we have the entire facility is open. Game rooms going, climbing walls up, inflatables going. What you're uh, telling us that you don't, you're not usually open from 6 to 10? We're not. We're not usually. We usually close at 6. Okay. So that's four so hours. So extended hours. We feed the kids. They play. It's supervised. Okay. Um, Ages? Five to twelve. Five to twelve. Five mm -hmm. to twelve. Now, is this going to be like a monthly thing, or just every once in a while you guys do this? Or? Uh, we're we're doing it three or four times this year. Okay. And this is the first one, and then in a mm -hmm. couple of months we mm -hmm. do it again. So have you done them before? We've done them before, and they're very largely successful. successful. Oh, yes. okay. good, good, good. Yes. Uh, fees per child is ten dollars per child, five dollar discount for multi-child. So okay. if you have two, you're signing up, then you're only paying fifteen. Okay. Um, okay. That morning, from nine till four, we do pre-registration. Um, so you can just come in. We have colored name tags, so we know what age group every kid is mm -hmm. in. So mm -hmm. when you come in, we know you have a ticket. Do they have to pre-register? They don't have to pre-register. So you can just show you up. You can just show up, but it, it makes it a lot easier for everybody involved mm -hmm. if you don't have to stand mm -hmm. in that line. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, if and if try you're to not register. a member of the youth center, then you'd have to fill out some paperwork. Correct. A, a lot of you know from that age group, a lot of them are not members of of, of the center. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So they just come mm -hmm. in, they pre-register, they pay their ten or fifteen dollars mm -hmm. for their mm -hmm. two kids, and. Sign a waiver, give some emergency contact information, that and sort of thing. They try not to leave too many black marks in our parking lot as they peel away. Yeah, when they're driving. <laughs> yeah. exactly. And, then, and for security reasons, I'm, I'm sure that they can't just sign in and leave. No, no. The child is in that building from 6 to 10. Mm -hmm. They do not leave the facility okay. at all until mom or dad are, mm -hmm. are picking them up. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Good I'm deal. sure there's, in, in this day and age, especially with a lot of split families and stuff, you sign who who could come and pick the yes, kid up. So yes, I mean, there's, in, there's an I'm actual in. sign in sheet mm -hmm. with contact numbers, emergency contact numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so we're well informed of who we need to contact if anything were to happen. Mm -hmm. And they are, when you when you drive away, you're secure that your child is mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And, and this is something you do every day anyway, so it's a security thing that's. I work with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. Work with Jeff. <laughs> and so dinner's provided, like you said. Yes, yeah, some there's, kids, there's the kids refreshment. Will be fed. You have to feed them, then drop them off. You can just they dump have, yeah. them and mm -hmm. run. Going I wouldn't have chose the word dump, whatever. but... Uh. Dump, ditch, yeah, yeah, ditch, dump sounds so much worse. Yeah. But, hey, trust me, I've raised children. And then number two, I noticed, uh, no offense to Walmart and the other vendors, but, I mean, the Christmas stuff, they're just ripping the Christmas stuff down, and they're throwing the Valentine's stuff it's up that already. Time already. So you boys are also in the romantic mood today. Well, what have you got here? What's talking about that, too? Uh, you, ooh, Jeffrey, <laughs> tell us about the Youth Valentine's Dance. That's right. February uh -huh. 4th, we have a Youth Valentine's Dance. Um, the grades 6th, 7th, and 8th. Uh, and not just for Mountain Home. We have kids from Cotter and surrounding areas come in for that as okay. well. Okay. Uh, we have anywhere from 300 to 400 kids show up for this. Um, Holy and so, cow, and I that's am not a huge thing. Wow, that's and so we, did right you say here. yes? We'll you say said you want a chaperone? No, no, <laughs> Fantastic. I'm not chaperone any, any dances. I, I did that when I taught high school forever. Uh, so it's $3 for youth center members and $5 for non-members. So yes, very, very inexpensive. And it's 7 to 10 on Saturday, February 4th. Right, it's inside our gym. We'll have uh, appropriate music. Yeah. I mean, it's all been edited and everything. And so, approved. And approved, approved. absolutely. Yes. Um, and uh, and they'll have a good time. We'll have you know. What's open dance mean from seven to eight? So, since you're chaperoning, you'll be able to see when you're there. Right. Oh, okay. Because it, there's it says snacks and punch provided. Seven to ten is approved music. Right. Seven to eight is open dance. That's just whenever they can get out there and dance if they want to start some type of dance craze, then we can, you know, follow oh. that up. They, oh, they so, so, so like someone, it's Dan and I's age, could show them how to do something yeah, we used to do a long we'll time ago. We'll see you guys there. Oh, oh, yes. oh we, can, we can do Me? the bump, Dan. Remember the bump? Yeah. Uh, no, I learned how to do the, the sprinkler the other day. <laughs> we can I didn't get know that there going. was a sprinkler, Dan. <laughs> you can teach us. So, door prizes and drawings, <laughs> right. request and dedication hour, and best of all, kiddos, sweetheart pictures. That's yeah. true. Oh, that's so mushy. 
local businesses have donated the, the giveaways and carnations, flowers like that. So we're very grateful for, for oh, that oh, part nice. of it as well. So. Wow, yeah. that that is cool. So that's that's open to anybody, non-members, so surrounding right. Six, counties. Seven, eight, cool. Youth Valentine dance. Wow, that's that's good. But it's my favorite right here. Yeah, All right, Jeffrey. That's what this, I'm is, about. this is okay. Here you go. Run for the park. This is your first. Yes, ma'am. 5K run walk and 10K run walk, yes. which is good because we don't have any of those in town. No, I think there's we, maybe we two We tend to just have the 5Ks, and this is not till Saturday, April 28th, so everybody at home can prep for it. That's right. We're trying to get the word out now so people that, you know, that want to, they can train for it, and those that don't, they can still get out. And there are a lot of people that I've talked with that said, how f is a 5K? I said it's 3.1 miles. Oh, I can walk that. Yeah. Sure, come on out. I mean, it's... It's really not mm -hmm. that big of a distance if, if you mm -hmm. think about it. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. and, and will it be there in the park? It is. It starts at the youth center. It goes around our facilities, around the park. It heads out into um, the subdivision Indian Creek right next to us and then comes back in. You finish in the park. Okay, so so you won't just be lapping no, the you park don't la lap six the park or seven no times. Man. But actually, you, you just make that outside loop. It's, it's a dead mile to the step. Absolutely. So, so, it's, um, and a great facility. I mean, beautiful well-maintained parks. Yeah, I can put in a huge plug because I kept did the uh, running clinic there for years and That's years. That's right. So well-maintained, ma clean, it's safe. Yes. You can do some hills if you want, or you can stick to the flat That's part. Right. Um, anyone who wants to walk for exercise needs to go down to Cooper Park and do their, do their walking. That is really, really cool. So okay. um, let's see. i got to get all this down. $25 uh, re pre-registration and then, oh, wait. 20s pre-registration, $25 day of the race for the 5K, and $25 pre-registration and $30 day of the race for the 10K. And, of course, the 10K is just 6.2 miles. That's correct, yeah. Um, cool. And, you know, of course, we'll, people will volunteer, the community will volunteer to work mm -hmm. the race. We'll have water and aid stations, two along each race. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have bagels and fruit, water at, at the finish line for now, all are participants. Are you looking for sponsors to put on the back of the shirts? Uh, there will be sponsors, okay. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we'll send that information out and, and try to contact those people. Yeah, but if, con if they're willing to and wanting to, please contact us. Absolutely, that's well needed. Well, okay. it's well needed because the sponsors, uh, that's, that's where you raise all your money, mm -hmm. boys, is on the sponsors. So these are your biggest events coming right. up. Right, yes. What are the youth center hours now that school's started and, and all that kind of We're stuff? We're three to six. Three to six. Um, yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, the so, bus usually gets there around 3.30, 3.40, but we're open technically at 3, 4 for youth. Okay. Mm -hmm. So kids come over after school and... They do and have a good time. And, and have a good time till 6 o'clock. What's, what's the ages that you can do that? We're 10, we're 10 to 17 on the door, but we, we, we want everybody. Uh, we, we want to stop being looked at as just a youth center. Mm -hmm. We would like to be considered mm -hmm. a community center. I and mean, we have, you know, a family package where you can register for $65 and everybody in your household is now a youth oh, center member. Deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and use so, all the... And that's then, for the so year. So you can come down as year. mom, dad, brother, sister, everybody who's in mm -hmm. the house could come. And we have several families that do that. They come as a family and shoot basketball or oh, neat. and come and play video games as a family okay. and stuff like that. Uh, so. Now, to put another plug for the volunteer fair, uh, you guys said you use volunteers at the for youth center? For everything we do. For, every, for like what? Absolutely. Um, uh, chaperones, like just for the, the the dance, we'd use volunteers for chaperone. For the race, we would use them out holding signs, turn left here, or passing out water. <laughs> yeah, you want to go that direction. Um, <laughs> any big event that we have, we it's yeah, the park pride it, event. Absolutely, I'm sure park, pride, park pride, uh, spring, spring carnival. carnival. Everything mm -hmm. we do, the uh, the trunk or treat deal, we need volunteers for everything we mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have a volunteer list that people can call and put their name yes, on? Yes, we or? have. Okay. We, you can call the, the youth center or come on in, and we have an actual volunteer um, form that we have you fill mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, everything we do is based on mm -hmm. volunteer. We have a core group of youth center members who volunteer for everything, but mm -hmm. when you're dealing with several crowds at certain ages, yeah. we, need, we need the adults mm -hmm. to be a part and of And you're going to have a booth at the uh, volunteer event? We, try we would try like that. Yeah, we if like you got to, the time, you get a way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. So let's get it straight. First thing coming up is January 27th, Friday night, 6 to 10 p.m. Uh, ditch the kids um, at <laughs> the house. We'll that's put that on the new day. flyer. Yeah, right? ditch the ditch, kids. It's parents night out. It's like, no, parents, wow. do which one? It's a ditch the kids night. <laughs> and then we have the Valentine dance, which we'll mention again before fourth, February 14th. Yeah. Get, mm -hmm. I mean, February 4th fourth, gets yeah. here. And then we will certainly, you'll come back closer yes, to the date yeah. and talk about this. Good, and we'll good, visit good. about the run walk in the park. Well, terrific. All right. 
Thanks, guys. More Thank information, you. you can contact them at the phone number they provided, or we'll have that at the end of the show. Thanks so much. And Anything else? Uh, you got what, Jeff's doing no, no, no. I was the web, the yeah, website? Good, no. What's your web, do you have a website? Mountainhomeparksandrec.com. All Mountain, spelled out. Okay, mountainhomeparksandrec.com. Okay. Thanks a lot. we got yeah. Billy Majors coming up. She's last for the show. She's going to be talking about forage programs for the Baxter County Extension Service. Stay with us. Yeah.